Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips and tricks to improve at Veil, an upcoming 5v5 tactical shooter built from the ground up for VR. Some of these tips are more beginner oriented, so if you already have a lot of hours in the alpha or play a ton of Pavlov, these probably won't help you that much. I tried to put the tips in order from least to most advanced, and that being said, let's get into the tips and tricks. To get the most consistent performance, turn every graphic setting to low. Don't think you're sacrificing too much visual fidelity, the game still looks amazing on the lowest settings. If you are on lower end hardware, consider using 72Hz instead of 90Hz or 144Hz. If you are still struggling to get consistent FPS, consider turning on FSR, or Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It is an upscaling technology that will give you better FPS without significantly reducing the visual quality of the game. One last thing, the recommended GPU is a GTX 1080. Number 2. Familiarize yourself with the guns. It may sound fairly obvious, but get the muscle memory for the recoil and reloading of each gun. They all behave slightly differently and each gun is suited for different types of engagements. The most practical way to do this with real players is to make 5 different loadouts with different guns and go into a team deathmatch. Bonus tip, there are 3 hidden guns in the armory that cannot be used in multiplayer. I'm not going to tell you where they are, so explore around and see if you can find them. I'm not counting the pink and blue camouflage AK, that one is really easy to find if you just walk around for a little bit. Number 3. Format of the game. The main competitive game mode, Artifact, is similar to Search and Destroy in other games. The colonists must scan the artifact while the Rayab must prevent the colonists from doing so. The game goes first to 11 rounds, with the first round being a pistol round. Each team swaps sides after 10 rounds. Number 4. Change reticle and outline color. In Veil, you can change the color of the optics. There is a slider that you can use out of 255 color values. You can also change the outline of enemy players. I use purple. This generally comes down to preference, but just use something that contrasts with the rest of the environment. Number 5. Virtual Crouch Similarly to Boneworks, you can crouch using the right stick. This is helpful for accessibility, such as if you are playing seated. You can use this to your advantage in the environment, so that more of your body is behind cover. Number 6. Experiment with hand motion smoothing and virtual stock. In the settings menu, there is an option to stabilize the motion of your hands. This can help eliminate the wobble and shaking in your hand movements. I use the setting on low. Virtual stock adds a third point of contact where the stock of the gun would go into your shoulder. Normally, there are only two points of contact, your left and right hands. Virtual stock makes aiming behave differently, so try experimenting with both options available. Number 7. Content creation with Live. If you are a fellow content creator, you can record stabilized video by using Live, an extremely helpful VR capture tool that is free on Steam. Depending on what settings you use, the camera can switch between first and third person and also zoom in when you aim down your gun so that the viewer can more accurately see what you're doing. Keep in mind, this will make your game run worse, so don't use it unless you comfortably have the performance headroom. Number 8. Crosshair Placement Similar to any non-VR first person shooter, where you're pointing your gun matters a lot. The less you have to move to land your shots, the more consistent you'll be. Therefore, you should generally keep your gun aimed at head level where you most likely think the enemy team is going to come from. For example, around a corner or a common peaking angle. There is a movement speed penalty for holding your gun up. You don't need to be constantly aiming down sights if you're just traversing the map and are fairly certain there aren't any members of the enemy team nearby. Number 9. Get involved in the community. If you somehow found this game without being in the Discord server, then you should join it immediately. Everyone is very friendly and the devs take community feedback very seriously. If you want to help the game out even more, you can apply to be a bug hunter. Just remember, don't abuse bugs or exploits in public lobbies. If you are more interested in the competitive side of Vale, then consider joining the IVRL Discord. Number 10. VOD Review Record some of your gameplay and see where you died and got kills. If a pattern arises where you consistently die peeking a certain angle or get a lot of kills with a frag grenade lineup, keep that in mind for your next matches. This information is crucial and will help you get a step up on other players. There you have it, 10 tips and tricks to improve at Veil VR. If you have any other tips to improve at the game, leave a comment so that other people can see it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future content.